Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of DCC NIT Agartala. This is Engineer Roy from CSE second year and today we are going to solve question number 46 from your E2OJ division 2A that is Roma and lucky numbers. So in this question we have given that lucky numbers are positive integers whose decimal representation contains only lucky digits 4 and 7. For example, these three numbers 40, 47, 744 and 4 are lucky while the rest are not which means the numbers containing only 4 and 7 are lucky and others are not. Okay, now we have Roma has got n positive integers. He wonders how many of those integers have not more than k lucky digits. Means here we have to find out the number of integers given which will contain not more than k number of lucky digits. In the question we will be given the value of n and k and we have to find out how many numbers are there in which at least uh, at max there are k lucky digits means the number of lucky digits will be less than equal to k. Okay. So how do we do this question? Here given 4 and 7 are the lucky digits so first of all if a given number is given suppose the number is given num num suppose the number is given how do we find find out that if it consists of 4 and 7 we check out the each the each of the digits and how do we do that we find the modulus of it by dividing by 10 and if the remainder is 4 or 7 then the number consists of the digits 4 or 7 okay simple so let us take the number as num. Suppose num will be given, uh, the numbers which will be given n number of integers num. Now we have to check at uh, each of the digits of the number to find out if, the, if we have 4 or 7. So how do we do? Let us take two variables. Say for lucky count we take lc and for say count we take c. Now if uh, first of all let us take another variable d which will be, which will be the number like count of the digits like if if whether 4 or 7 is present in it okay uh, so what do we do we first divide number by 10 and find out the modulus that is the remainder if the remainder comes 4 or 7 then it is a lucky number I, otherwise it is not then we have to continue this for all the digits of the number to check how many numbers are present how many fours or sevens are present in the number and then we have to count it and now for getting the output what is the required condition c should be less than equal to c should be less than equal to k okay clear so uh, how do we write the code so first of all we define n k and num which will be our given inputs and we take input then as long as n is running we have to input our num okay num we have to take now we take three more variables digit count and lucky count okay so uh, we declared these values as zero to avoid garbage value during our compilation now the first case is we have to use one while loop you can use for loop also but i am here uh, here i am using a while loop that if num not equal to zero if the number is zero then there is no like we need not even check no four or seven will be there in that number clearly so we need not check so it will be only for if num is not equal to zero okay now digit equal to num ampersand uh, modulus 10 num modulus 10 find out the remainder and we continue this for the rest of the digits of the number now if the digit is either 4 or 7 the remainder that comes it is either 4 or 7 we simply increment the count lucky count we increment it by 1 okay and now the second for loop comes if lucky count is less than equal to k as given in the question that at max there should be k number of lucky digits it is given if it is less than k if it is true then we increment count that is the total number of the digits total number of integers that have this okay now finally we output we print print our count value okay so how this works see the example example given test case n equal to 3 k equal to 2 
and the three numbers are given here okay 447 44 and 77 so we check for each of these uh, how do we check here the value of k is 2 it's given means in a number we cannot have more than two lucky digits okay so clearly out of these three 44 and 77 these are the two numbers having the least number of like having two lucky digits having two lucky digits so uh, we our answer will be two 447 also contains all the lucky digits but we cannot take it into consideration because there are three and our k value is two so it should be at max two so these two are the correct answer now for dry running we can see how check 447 first take modulus by 10 what do we get 7 447 modulus of 10 we get 7 similarly rest remaining is 44 44 by uh, modulus 10 again we get 4 remaining is 4 we get 4 similarly for 44 and 77 we get 4 and 7 so there are no more in the third case here it will be 0 and 0 for these three now clearly these three cannot be taken because it's more than the k value these two will be taken so what's our answer to two integers are there with uh, with the given which satisfy the given conditions so our answer is two answer should be two and see here output is two okay similarly you can check for this one also the you can check for the first test case also okay now uh, let us go and run this program in our code forces Wait, uh, it's showing some compilation error, I guess. No, it's accepted. See. So our answer is accepted. See the solution. Hmm. Fine. Hope it's clear. Thank you.